Hi, I'm Dr. George Parada, medical advisor for the National Pest Management Association. Today, I'd like to talk about cockroaches and the impact they can have on your health. Cockroaches are one of the most common pests in the United States and around the world. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America reports that 78 to 98 percent of urban homes have cockroaches, with as many as 900 to more than 300,000 cockroaches per home. While many people are familiar with and may even be frightened by cockroaches, most do not realize the serious health threats that these pests can pose when they invade our homes. In fact, 63% of American homes have detectable levels of cockroach allergens. One of the main health concerns associated with cockroaches are the germs they can carry on their bodies. Cockroaches crawl over sewage, dirt, and decaying food, picking up microbes on their legs and body that are then carried into our homes and onto our foods and food surfaces. Cockroaches have been implicated in the spread of 33 kinds of bacteria, including E. coli and salmonella six parasitic worms, and more than seven other types of human pathogens. E. coli and salmonella are classic causes of food poisoning or gastroenteritis. Common symptoms include abdominal pain, severe stomach cramps and tenderness, diarrhea, which can sometimes be bloody, nausea and vomiting. Some people can experience severe diarrhea, which can cause dehydration and may require hospitalization. In rare cases, the bacteria can spread to the bloodstream and cause life-threatening infections. Children, senior citizens, and people with compromised immune systems are more likely to have severe symptoms. Seek medical attention if you display symptoms of food poisoning. Your doctor will ask questions about your symptoms, foods you have eaten recently, and your home and work environments. Be sure to tell your doctor if you have a cockroach infestation or have seen cockroaches in your home or office. Your doctor may take blood or stool tests to confirm the diagnosis. Antibiotics may not be indicated as often, medication is not required to treat salmonellosis or E. coli food poisoning. Instead, your doctor will likely recommend drinking plenty of water or sports drinks with electrolytes to prevent dehydration. Avoid spicy foods, foods high in fat and sugar, alcohol, and coffee. Also avoid taking antidiarrheal medication. This slows down your digestive system, preventing the body from getting rid of the toxins. The symptoms should resolve themselves within a week. Practicing good sanitation is the first crucial step towards preventing infestations inside the home. And think of cockroach control as a five-step integrated pest management process, also known as IPM. This process includes prevention and good sanitation by the homeowner and a thorough inspection application, and follow-up maintenance from a qualified pest professional. Here are a few things homeowners can do to keep cockroaches from settling in. Seal cracks and holes around the outside of the home, including utility pipes. Properly ventilate basements and crawl spaces to prevent moisture buildup. Practice good sanitation, especially in the kitchen area. Wipe counters and surfaces regularly. Don't leave dirty dishes in the sink, and keep garbage in a sealed container and dispose of it regularly. Check home deliveries and groceries before bringing them inside the home. Pay extra attention to kitchens and bathrooms, especially under appliances and sinks, as these areas are particularly vulnerable to cockroach infestations. Thanks for watching this episode of Health Checks about cockroaches and diseases. That's all the time we have for today. For more information on cockroaches and your health, visit pestworld.org.